Uh-huh. Hey, what's up, man? This shot the guy, man. Ripping bank roll mafia, man. And I just jumped out the porch with dirty glove bastard. All right, so we got shot the guy off the porch with us today. You dig? What's happening? How you feeling today, bro? Good. Yeah, man. Appreciate you coming by today, man. Appreciate y'all having me. Yeah, no you problem. Dig. Yeah. How you feeling about this new year, man? How's it starting off for you so far? It's pretty good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ain't really shit to do. We just been chilling. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so man, uh, Atlanta native, right? For sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What part of the city are you from? Well, I'm from the south side, like old national. Okay. For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at what age would you say you jumped off the porch on the south side? What age I jumped out of the porch? I was out of the porch like 15. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any older brothers, any big homies out there? Uh, I got one older brother. He's like four years older than me. He's okay. just like, he just like partners, me and my partners and shit like that. Yeah. 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 So how would you describe your childhood growing up down there? My childhood? Yeah. Shit. Regular, just like regular childhood. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't no, it wasn't like crazy rough or none of that shit like that. Okay. Mama was, mama was working. You know what I mean? Single mother working, but you know we had what we needed, so shit, everything was cool. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. So what had inspired you to start making music at first? Music. I just been around music all my life. I got a lot of family doing music, and I had started um, messing around with the engineering, and like I just. Was, you know what I mean? It's just like it was like pretty much destined. <laughs> I feel and that. I was good at it, so you know what I mean? Yeah. Kept going, yeah, for sure. How'd you learn how to engineer? Just practicing yourself? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty goddamn like good with stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you engineer yourself these days or? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Still on it, huh? Yep. I my and I like everybody around me know how to engineer themselves. So, like all my little partners and shit who rap. Yeah. Like everybody not an engineer that so. Okay. Yeah. What programs were you using back then? Same thing, Pro Tools. Okay. Yeah. 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 So at what point did you say, man, let me try this rapid thing out too? When we was in high school. Okay. Like twelfth grade, me and my partners had got together and just started doing music. Did yeah. a group called the Rich Kids. I know y'all um probably familiar with that. The legendary yeah. Rich Kids. Yeah, for sure. Legendary. Yeah, yeah for sure, for sure. <laughs> So how did that all form? All of you guys were just friends in high school? Everyone was about the same age or what? Yeah, we were just going to school on the west side, like um, Douglas High School, just kicking, pivoting, just drip, fresh, you know what I mean? Everybody was on the same shit, so we just, we just, just fucking around. Rich kid, that shit just went like that. You don't never really remember how everybody became friends in high school. You just, you just know like, yeah. We were just friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't remember how we became friends. It just, everybody was just cool. And we used to hang together every single day. Yeah. Like, we was a group before we was a rap group. Okay. They Like, Rich Kid was just a group before it was rapping. It was just like a little clique. Yeah. Yeah. Who were the original members? Shit, like, me, Caleb, Baby Char, uh, Schoolboy, Big Man. Uh, June, Saint, the people, who, the original members was the people who was rapping. Okay. And a whole bunch of other people who was around us though too. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. For were, sure. Were you one of the last ones to start rapping? Or were they rapping before you? I think we all started rapping at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah, we had just started rapping. <laughs> okay. Everybody was just started rapping. Didn't nobody know how to rap. But we all knew how to rap, but we just started rapping. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, did the music take off right away? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> it like everything was just everything was just meant to be. It took out right away. Like what's up? That was our first song we ever did. For real? Yeah. Oh shit. That's the first song we recorded. And that was a hit. <laughs> yep. Like it just it sounded crazy, but that's how that shit went. It was like it was supposed to happen. Did you expect it to take off that that quick? Nope. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Like I said, we were just messing around. And um in the basement, just recording. Just doing shit. Like, hell nah, we didn't expect that shit to do what it did. But yeah. it did what it did. <laughs> Were you guys still in school at the time? Yep. Okay. On the radio, like, every day, song on the radio, in school, like, <laughs> yeah, for sure. 
Did the song take off in school first before it like hit the radio and the clubs and mm-hmm. the internet? It took off in the school. We were performing like at Metro Skate over there on Metropolitan. We used to do um, shows. The boy um, Bar used to book up recipes. That boy Bar man, he used to book up for them shows at the um, Metro Skate. And um, like we've been turning up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Back then, there wasn't too many, you know, kids in high school that were rapping that were making it either. Back then, nah, I, I, I want to say we like the first people, like I want to say we the first like start that trend, yeah. for sure. So, what did those concerts, what did those performances look like back then? <laughs> crazy. You go on YouTube, oh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm man, I'm mad. Like a lot of that stuff wasn't even on camera. Like how everything on camera now. Yeah, there wasn't that many camera phones back then. Yeah, and like folk one just focused on just documenting everything. But boy, we would have had like shows crazy. Yeah. We did five shows in one night sometimes. Oh shit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm sure if social media was big back then, you guys' career would have been even like even further back then too. I be thinking about that. I be thinking about that. But you know, everything happened for a reason. But I be saying, but we had Instagram back then. Like that shit would have been crazy. Yeah, for sure. Like <laughs> even TikTok, they yeah. have like other people dancing to these songs yeah. and everything too. For sure. Like people weren't kicking it how we were kicking it, man. Like yeah. been doing this shit. Like yeah, these artists today, they got it made, man. You know what I'm saying? They could just upload a song right there to, and promote it on their Instagram and, and go viral I mean, just like that. If that's how you want to word it, I don't think they got it made, though. You still got to got them work. Yep, that's I true. I, it still work. But shit, yeah, it, it is easy, though, to get your shit out there to the people, though, like you said. You yeah. can get your shit to the people without needing nobody. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I see what you're saying. For yep. shit, though. So uh, what do you think the rich kid's legacy is here in Atlanta, man? What the legacy is? Mm-hmm. Just legendary. Like the originators, just like, that's how, that's how they're looking at it. That's how we, you know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's legendary. I think it's just like the beginning. I want to say it's the beginning of like everything. That's what I want to say. That's what it is. Feel like you guys get a, enough credit for the, for the trends you guys kind of started back then? Yeah, you didn't see the um, concert when we did that sold out concert. The parking lot concert? Yeah. We had we still got the biggest concert that they ever did. Rich Kid concert. Yep. <laughs> and we ain't been out of ten years. You, you got <laughs> artists who hot right now with millions of dollars of promotion behind them. We had the biggest guy um, parking lot concert and we ain't been out in over ten years. Yeah. That tell you something right there. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like getting back with everyone and performing? That's Crazy. Such a big crowd during the pandemic too. Crazy. Like I can't even explain it. That shit felt good. Felt real good. We turned up. It was piped up. The feeling was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we put on for show. Yeah. Did did the group ever break up or did everyone just kinda go solo? Yeah, both. Broke up and went solo. <laughs> <laughs> what it made you guys both. break up? Um, uh, just got down like it's a lot of people, so you know, everybody gotta be on the same page. So like five people in the group, like shh. Everybody ain't on the same page. You got some people listening to this person and some people listening to this person. And we kids, so people can mm-hmm. manipulate us kind of and like, you know what I mean? Tell us shit and like, that shit crazy. Like, 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 like I said, we was kids. So, you know what I mean? Half of the group listening to people advising us to do this. The other half of the group listening to somebody else. And that shit just didn't work out. Yeah. Meet, didn't meet the deadlines and like shit like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Think we'll ever get any new music from the rich kids? Music. Like for all, the, all of you guys together. I ain't against it. Hell yeah, nah. Yeah. Let's do it. How yeah. much of the music business did you learn during that time too? A little bit. I've been learning the music business just throughout the whole journey though. From then to now. I'm still learning. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I learned I learned a couple of things then though. Yeah. yeah, for sure. What's your thoughts on the rap game today? Rap game, it's just evolving. It's just changing. Like, you just gotta, you just gotta adapt. You just gotta roll with it. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. Yeah. What is what have been some of your keys to staying relevant for over ten years now? Keys to staying relevant. I like what I did. I can tell you what I did. Mm-hmm. Um. First of all, you just can't burn yourself out. Like, goddamn. 
I ain't really even been just, I drop like a project every year. I ain't burnt myself out, just keep just doing shit that ain't, that ain't doing nothing, you know what I mean? And I just got now, I'm staying in the midst. I stay in the midst, cause I'm just, you know what I mean? We just, we just them type of people, like, we in the midst, like, shit mafia, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's different strokes for different folks. Everybody can't do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it ain't easy, but I done did it. Like, I'm a new artist to a lot of people. People still ain't even never heard of me. You know what I mean? So I think that's cool. I think that's dope about yeah. my shit. Yeah. What's, yeah. Been, what's been one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make? Sacrifices? Yeah. Um, Biggest sacrifices? Well, just investing. Investing in yourself, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You might have you might have some money, but you might want to do something else with it. But just putting money into yourself—that's a sacrifice, because you you can't do what you want to do right with it at the moment, and you might not see this shit come back right now. It might come back later on down the line. So I would say that's a sacrifice. And just just I mean, I don't look at like. Long nights in the studio and all that, that sacrifice occurred. It's like, that's what we want to do. Like, I, we, we, that should be cool to us. That's how we do keep pairing in the studio and shit. Yeah. So, it be work, but that's what we do and it be kind of fun, you know what I mean? So, I say the sacrifice and be like, just investing in yourself and, um, like, shit like that. Yeah. I okay. mean, mm-hmm. if I think of something else, I'll tell you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How have you remained so passionate about making music throughout all these years, man? It's easy to give up on things, man. It must just be for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just for me or something, because I'm still, I love doing this shit. I'm passionate about this. My whole life is music, you know what I mean? Studio in every spot where we at. We got to be by the studio, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm just passionate about this shit. Then, you know what I mean? You constantly, I, I, like, I got a lot of peers and shit, like, who making it in the game and the industry and shit, so that shit keep me motivated. Like, you know what I mean? Everybody around me got them really rich and got them doing shit. Like, so I stay motivated. So that would keep me passionate about this shit. And I love doing this shit because I know I'm good at it and I see the response, like the hoes, the street, everybody. I see how they respond to this shit. So for sure, I know I'm doing something right. So it what a nigga supposed to be doing. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, talk to us about your relationship with Young Thug, man. Yeah, that my boy. Shine. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How'd you guys first meet? I know uh, you've been rocking with him for a while, man. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, we from Atlanta, so, like, before everybody, like, before everybody was rapping, like, I think Thug probably came out in, like, what, 2013? But, like, yeah, 12, I think. Yeah, but, you know, we are from the city, so we've been knew each other way before then, because all of us been rapping since, like, 2009, 08, type shit like that, so... Just being from the city, we always, you know what I mean? See Thug, I see Thug in gambling houses everywhere, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, we just nigga from the city. We always been cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So what's it been like watching them, knowing before before rapped into, you know, one of the biggest artists today, man? Like you said, that's probably pretty inspiring too. Yeah, for sure. Just to see him came from where he came from, like, it first mid-take, it first mid-take series, goddamn, I come from nothing. You know, that shit for real. So, you know what I mean? To see him got down B way yet today, for sure. And I saw the whole process. So, just, that shit just wonderful. You know what I mean? It was meant for him. He, he, he where he supposed to be, for sure. Yeah. Nothing couldn't stop him. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, MLK. That's one of my favorite songs of all time, man. The MLK? Yeah. Yeah, and we dropped it on Martin Luther King. Yeah. Though. Yeah, that shit hard. I love that shit. Yeah. I still play that shit. Yeah, <laughs> then my verse all the way at the end, ain't it? Yeah, yeah it's like a six minute song too. Yeah, but I, I, I always think, make it to the end, man. I yeah. always do. That's, that's what like, I do. I be listening. I be listening for my part like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> all right, so what can you tell us about this new project uh, you about to drop, man? Shit, new project hard. If, if you've been following my got now, you know what I'm saying. My whole journey, you'll know every project get better and better and better. I ain't never took a step back. You'll know that everything getting better and better and better. It's just more harder, more put together, production, everything, just growth. That shit fat, hard. Yeah. <laughs> I just be wanting y'all to hear it, you know what I mean? But I can tell you, so I, I, I don't be want to like tell you how fat it is. I want you to got them say that for yourself. But I can tell you who all got now has something to do with it, some okay. shit like that. I can tell you about the production that's on there, the features on there, the uh, creative process. 
Yeah. I got the boy um Weeze on that motherfucker, Turbo on that motherfucker, um Narquise 48, them boys on that motherfucker. I got the boy um Mathematical on that motherfucker. That boy Q. Um who else we got? Um I don't want to miss. I don't want to get now forget nobody, but then that's who I can got, I can get now remember just like right out top. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is it called In God We Trust? Yeah, okay. For sure. Yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? It's shit everywhere. You know what yeah, I mean? see, you got the merch, man. Yeah, for sure, merch. And we and we dropping another merch drop out at the merch did crazy. We dropped on four twenty last year. Dropped it for like three days. and shit sold out one weekend. That shit crazy. So we're gonna drop it again too when I drop the album. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, see, you've always been big into fashion, man. How far back does that go for you? Dripping, man. I came out, more dripping. <laughs> <laughs> I was dripping. When I driven, when I came out the um, vagina, <laughs> I been dripping. That juice, this shit, with the, the water was dripping off a nigga then. I came out the placenta dripping. Yeah, you talking about the water was dripping off a nigga when I came out the vagina, man. I was dripping with my mama. <laughs> for sure. That's how far I go back, man. Yeah. Nah, for sure. That's what's what I would say. What's some of your favorite brands right now? Brands. See, right now, get what? I ain't even been to all that, into all that design and shit right now, and all them brands and shit. You see, I got on Dickies, but I'm still mm -hmm. dripping. Then my brand right here in God with True. Then the brand I've been into lately. And I rock my Nike Cortez, my F01. You know what I mean? I go, I go on designer like for shoes and stuff. But see, man, my boy Funny really keep me keep me dripped out too, and like some like some different little stuff. We might go Japanese, but I've been fucking with a lot of like black designers lately, like black color line. But them boy be hard. Like I fuck with the boy Funny. Yeah, that's the brand I've been fucking with lately. There you go. Funny. It's shit hard, man. Oh, um, and then pretty much anybody who he tell me to fuck with. Yeah, that's how I go. Yeah, yeah, been dripping. All right, what can you tell us about Count Me Out, man? So you went out to L.A. to shoot that one? Yeah. Like, we was out there in L.A., got them fucking around, um, riding around them Clarence and shit, just, just cooling. Um, I shot it on, on right there on Slauson, right there in, on, in the neighborhood, right there, bam. Me and some, me and some of the homies, right there at the store and shit, at the liquor store, bam. Then I shot a scene on, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, right there on Hollywood Boulevard. And then um, I shot the scene um, at the mansion, and that shit was crazy. The video dope. Shout out to RE Films who shot that. My boy from Boston, RE Films. Um, that shit was crazy. I like the video. That's actually the most um, recent video I done dropped, and yeah. I love them all. I love it for sure. It looks like the feedback's been pre pretty good too. Yeah, they liking it. Like I said, everybody like my people. They growing with me. They they. They got them know everything I drop gonna get better and better and better. They already know that. <laughs> you know what I mean? For sure. Is the Belly remix with Quavo? Is that gonna be on the project? Oh um, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. In my heart. Shout out to the boy Quavo. I just texted him in the morning, told him to keep doing this shit, man. Um, that shit hard. We got the video gonna come. Um, we gonna shoot the video. We ain't shot it yet, but video coming soon for that too. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, no fans waiting on that one since you uh, for sure. Since you I didn't it, yeah, I teased them, but <laughs> can't get to you like that. That's how it goes. Sometimes you gotta get teased. Might have been teased before. You know what I'm saying? That's how it goes. And you got the video for Murder Me with Gunner on the way still too, right? Oh yeah, that motherfucker out. <laughs> Murder Me video out now. Free. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Featuring Gunner, produced by the Bud Turbo. And um, uh, yeah. Shit crazy too. Like, yeah, I know, man. I just want y'all to listen. And if y'all don't know, I just want y'all to just listen. That's all I want to say. Cause that be the main thing. I know. I ain't even be. I don't even be worrying about the music and the quality of the music. I just be saying, y'all, when it, if these folks hear it, they gonna got damn fuck with it. Mm -hmm. So I just want, that's my main thing. I just want everybody to hear this shit. I ain't worrying about if you gonna like it or not. That's. Phew. I just want you to hear it. Yeah. What was like working with uh, Dirk on Vibes? Dirk, who went in? Shout out to boy Dirk. Dirk, man, he word, he a real nigga too. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's another video we gotta shoot. Okay. On the way, it's coming. 
Yeah. Yeah. That boy fool, that boy went in there. He got he handled his business on that verse too. He walked on that motherfucker. Yeah. So shout out to that boy Schmirt, man. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to the boy DJ Band. Yeah, shout out to bands, man. Yeah, for Fuck sure. Any other features you got tucked away? I mean, that's a lot already, but. What I said, Dirt, goddamn. Dirt, Quavo, Quavo Gunner. Gunner. Um, tip, got about Tip on that motherfucker. Okay. Yeah, for sure. What's that song called? Dead Boat. Like a dead boat lock. Okay. Yeah, Dead Boat, for sure. That's hard. Do you have a personal favorite song fans should check out when you drop it? Mm. What they should check out? Mm -mm. That's hard. That's, that's, you ain't finna work me like that. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't finna work me like that. That's hard. Just listen to the album. Yeah. Personal favorite? Shh. The whole thing hard. Right, that's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That, that's part of my creative process. I got it. Every song got to be hard. If I don't feel like it's hard, it ain't going to be on there. So I don't have no personal favorite. But and then I ain't gonna, I'm going to tell you this too. I got to listen to my music for a long time before I get a personal favorite. Like it'd be like two years down the line, I listen to that shit. And I'd be like, you know what? This shit was hard as fuck. <laughs> you I be find sleeping myself, on your own music? Yeah. I be sleeping like. <laughs> I don't listen to it. I can't hear it like a fan until it been out for like two years. Oh shit. That's when I started hearing it like a fan. That's crazy. That I be wishing crazy. I can hear it like a fan at the beginning so I can know how to pick the music and shit. <laughs> but I still be picking the music right. But you know what I'm saying? Two years down the line, you can hit a motherfucker like a real motherfucking consumer. Yeah. So that's how I'm doing it. This is your first project since 2018? Yeah. I've been, I've been, man, I've been holding these folk out, got them, <laughs> man, putting these folk along, stringing these folk along, they mad at me, they been sending me threats, they been got them <laughs> test me on Instagram, coming, they talking about they gonna come shoot up the net if I don't drop the mid tape. I'm like, is that serious? Y'all gonna come shoot up the block? Cause I ain't dropping my mid tape. So that how I know I got some real deal fans, like, for real, real. Hearts, they yeah. get the same shit like that. I, I, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, that's a real deal fan. There might be a stand. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you get them stands. It's all part of the plan. Was there a reason for the holdup, or were you just perfecting it, or just kind of just stacking the songs, or Gemini shit, overthinking, too much overthinking. Been pulled to drop that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what they keep telling me. Like, why the hell you ain't drop yet? I just be thinking too much. But I also feel like um, right now is the perfect time. Oh, yeah. Everything I do, I feel like it's been the perfect time. So I think now is the perfect time to drop. So I feel the motherfucking drop. And shit, that's how we gonna rock. You know what I mean? What else you working on? What else is coming up for 2021? 2021. Um, I just want to let y'all. I just want to let y'all follow the journey, man. You know what I mean? But this, this, this ain't the last um, project of 2021. We got, like I said, everything get bigger and bigger. So after this project, it's gonna be another bigger project. Actually, like a collaboration project. Okay. With a big producer. I tell you that. And then, now a huge producer. Yeah, I tell you that. That's actually gonna be the next project after this. That's all I'm gonna give you, man. Y'all just gotta follow me. Follow me. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we wrap it up? Shit. I just want to shout out everybody who rocking with me. Shout out everybody who got genuine love for me and want to see a nigga win. Shout out them. I'm not shouting out the folk who capping, acting like they want to see a nigga win, but really trying to hold a nigga back. Ain't no shout out for y'all. I want to shout out Dirty Glove Bastard for having me. I want to shout out Bank Road Mafia. I want to shout out God. I want to shout out everybody, like I said, who, who fucking with me. For sure. That's it.